Paul leaves Apollos in Corinth and travels to Ephesus. There, he meets some disciples of John the Baptist who had apparently missed the part of his message about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and had only heard the part about the water baptism of repentance. And Paul reminds them of John's words about the one who would come after him, Jesus. The disciples believe and receive the Holy Spirit when Paul places his hands on them. So these twelve disciples of John the Baptist became disciples of Jesus, and God did all kinds of miracles through Paul. The text says that even handkerchiefs and aprons that Paul had touched were able to cure diseases and cast out demons. A group of Jews, seven sons of Sceva the priest, were going around casting out demons, saying, In the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. But one day the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know, and Paul I know about, but who are you? Then the man who had the evil spirit jumped on them and overpowered them all. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house naked and bleeding. The whole city was afraid because of this, and they began to confess their sins, which included practicing sorcery. The people brought out all of their magic scrolls and burned them. The value of the scrolls was the same as about 150 years worth of a man's wages. And after nearly three years of training his disciples and teaching in the synagogues and outdoors in the lecture hall, Paul decided he was going to go back up to Jerusalem. Around that time, a guy named Demetrius Demetrius, who crafted and sold idols in the city, stirred up all the other craftsmen against Paul because the people weren't buying their idols anymore. He claimed there is danger not only that our trade will lose its good name, but also that the temple of the great goddess Artemis will be discredited. And soon the whole city was in an uproar. The people seized Gaius and Aristarchus, Paul's traveling companions for Macedonia, and all of them rushed into the theater together. Paul wanted to appear before the crowd, but the disciples wouldn't let him. Even some of the officials of the province, friends of Paul, sent him a message begging him not to venture into the theater. The assembly was in confusion. Some were shouting one thing, some another. Most of the people didn't even know why they were there. The Jews in the crowd pushed Alexander to the front, and they shouted instructions to him. He motioned for silence in order to make a defense before the people. But when they realized he was a Jew, they all shouted in unison for about two hours, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians! The city cleric eventually quieted the crowd down and said, Everybody already knows that Ephesus is the guardian of the temple of the great Artemis. Doesn't everyone already know that her image fell from heaven? Calm down, you've brought these random fellows into the theater even though they haven't done anything. If there's any real issue, we have courtrooms for such things. As it is, we're in danger of being charged with rioting because of what happened today. He then dismissed the crowd.